Oh, hey everybody, what's going on? Uh, before I guess we really dig into the the meat and potatoes of what I want to talk about today, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button? Um, as always, I am on a mission to become the most famous Brian Q, and I am still a pretty I will admit, distant second place to Q from Impractical Jokers. So if you could go ahead and hit that subscribe and really send a message to Brian Quinn, this controller is actual garbage. It's going to become literal garbage um, as soon as I'm done filming this video. Uh, it's a cheap knockoff third party. Super Nintendo controller that I bought off Amazon, and every time I push left, it pushes up. So, if for the rest of this, I suck at Mario World, know that that's why, because I am great at this game. And the only reason I would know, oh my god, it's actually really bad. Did it? Um, for a second I thought it just literally... It has basically stopped working. I'm pressing left. Oh, of course, I show it to you and it stops. Look at. I don't even know if you can see. Oh, yeah, you can see it back. Um, anyway, none of this is the point of this video. The point is I want to talk about a movie called Idle Hands from uh, 98 or 99 stars... Devon Sawa, which is, uh, you know, what the ground is in Pet Cemetery. The ground is Devon Sawa. Um, Seth Green, Jessica Alba. Fred Willard is in the movie very briefly. Uh, it's a shame he's not in it more. Um, Vivica A. Fox, other people. It's, it's kind of filled with people you've definitely seen in stuff. Um, in my memory of this, you know, I was just thinking about Halloween movies, and it, it is a movie that takes place during Halloween, so I, I do consider it a uh, a good Halloween time movie to watch. Um, but I haven't watched it in forever, and I was thinking about I was thinking about that, and it uh, it it ended up sort of. Uh, putting itself in front of me the other night, so I decided to watch it, and I liked it a lot when it came out, and I think I like it just as much all these years later, except I feel like now I'm laughing at the movie a lot more than I'm laughing with the movie, where when I was, you know... 19 or 20, oh my god, um, I think I, oh, oh my god, I can't believe, this controller sucks so bad, I can't, I can't go backwards, I just nod up <laughs> when I try to go left, oh, I'm mad, ooh, I'm mad, I mean, this could be a, an interesting challenge, look at, okay, it's gotta have a bad solder in it or something, um, but yeah, this, uh, you know, I, I look back on movies like Clerks and, you know, a lot of Kevin Smith movies or even, um, Empire Records and, uh, movies that at the time were, were movies where as a, as a, like, high school or fresh out of high school, you're like, yeah, this movie speaks to me. This movie's about me. Like, I get it, man. Uh, this has that same vibe. It, it, it definitely has a... Wishes it was a Kevin Smith horror movie, almost. Like, a like if Clerks or Mallrats was a horror movie. That's kind of what this is. And I appreciate that. Um, oh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad at this controller. <laughs> I'm just fuming right now. Oh, I'm stuck. I can't... I can't... Okay. Oh, my God. It just keeps barely clicking in. Um, 
but yes, um, now looking back on Idle Hands, it's embarrassing. Um, it's a time capsule for anybody who was a, a teenager in 98, 99. Um, it is embarrassing how much it reminds me of me and it reminds me of that time. Um, I think it's going to have a lot of nostalgia for people going back to it. Oh, uh, but basically, I guess I should say too, uh, Idle Hands is about a young man, a stoner slacker, who discovers early in the movie that his hand has become evil and his hand wants to murder people and is apparently murdering people while he's asleep uh, but then it just starts then it just starts murdering people all the time and uh, it's a real problem for him so he's trying to figure out how to stop his murderous hand, he's got his two drug dealer buddies that are trying to help him out, and they're, of course, they're all clueless, and they're all stoned, and, you know, wacky times ensue, he enlists the help of his, uh, sort of heavy metal, uh, neighbor, like his monster truck driving heavy metal neighbor, um, and then Viv Vivek A. Fox is a, uh, from an order of... What is it, an order of priestesses who, like, know the secrets of... Come on! I swear to God. Who know the secrets of the, uh, of the evil hand, because it, it jumps from person to person. Um, and she's trying to put a stop to the evil. Evil dies tonight, some might say. Um, but yeah, it's... I would say it's more comedy than it is horror. Uh, although I, I will say it 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 makes an effort to be a horror movie. Um, it is not without its blood and gore. It is set during Halloween, so although mostly that doesn't factor into the movie, it factors into sort of the climax of the movie happens at a. Uh, the high school Halloween dance, which I don't know if that's ever been an actual thing. Um, I know I've never been to a Halloween dance at a high school, but I think, oh my God. Uh, I think that would be cool if that was a real thing. Oh, thank God, it actually let me go left when, when I needed it. Um, I'm right on that pixel's edge. <laughs> uh, yeah, and actually, the uh, I think that the Halloween dance is, is one of the most 1998 things that you could probably see in a movie. You know, it's Jessica Alba in a Karen haircut uh, dancing to The Offspring, which the, it is the, liter the actual band, The Offspring, is in the movie playing at the high school band which i always wonder like in movies when you know you have a band playing at something and you you know usually it's gonna be you know somewhere your characters are gonna be it's gonna be something small scale uh does that like is that a insult to your band or a compliment because it's like okay the offspring get to be in this movie it's cool that they're in this movie but you're you're portraying yourselves as playing at a high school band, like when you're um, probably at the peak of your popularity. Does that make it sound like? Does that? I don't know. It just it just feels like oh, here's this popular band. They're they're playing at a high school. I don't know. It just I always feel like the it sends the wrong message. Oh my god. Oh come on, go backwards, you son of a. I'll show the camera, because then it works. It did kind of work. Okay. It must be when uh, the controller's upside down or something that the like the solder is making a better... <laughs> making a better connection. Anyway. Idle Hands. It's very campy. It 
I will say this, we're dealing with late 90s, so if you're someone who, you know, uh, doesn't like... You remember in the 80s, there were a lot of words that got thrown around real casually that we don't say anymore. Um, this is the late 90s. Some of that was still around, not 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 as much, not not if you're gonna you know not as much as if you were watching an '80s movie, but there's still a little bit of that. Um, so that's something you still gotta watch out for. Um, I'm basically just done playing this because I need to get a fresh controller. Oh wait, this was a two pack. I wonder if this one is any better. Let's find out. Anyway, um, but again, I think as a as a time capsule um, and as a um, sorry about that that was probably real loud and I probably just wrecked this cheap ass controller um, but I think for anybody you know I I I think you know I think there's there there are definite like genre vibes and um, decade vibes with a movie and like if you're into 80s movies like movies that have that 80s vibe like speak to you a little more. This is a movie that just screams 1998, 1999. Like it has the 90s vibes through and through, like authentic 90s vibes, not 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 trying to recreate something. Ooh, this this controller is a lot tighter. Um, that one was me. That death was my fault. Um, I'm not going to blame the controller for that. But um yeah, I think for a, a movie that just really honest to God feels like I'm back in 1999, it was it was a fun ride. It's a fun cast. The characters are um, bizarrely written, very surreally written. Um, I think the uh, the drug dealer characters are way too clever for their own good. I mean, they're they're portrayed as stupid, but they're sort of that Kevin Smithy, you know, uh, a way larger vocabulary than I think those characters would have had in real life. And oh, and Devin Sawa, um, Devin Ground is Sawa, does a really good job acting like his hand is evil. I, I wanted to bring that up. I wanted to give him the... Um, give him his due because he is doing a lot of really fun um like kind of double acting because he has to act he has to be acting with his evil hand but then he also has to be simultaneously reacting to his evil hand acting it's doing a lot of this um and it was really fun and it's like pulling him this way and that way and it's trying to kill people and he's trying to stop it very, very enjoyable to watch. Um, fun movie. I can't, I can't say like, oh, it's aged well, um, uh, but I think it is still just as much fun to watch today as it was to watch in 1999, but for different reasons. So there you go. Thank you for watching. Please, if you haven't yet, I mean, I begged you to subscribe at the beginning of the movie. I'm begging you now at the end. Please hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.